Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my wash day routine and I'm just starting off with super dirty hair and I'm just kind of fluffing out all my hair so you guys can see what I'm working with. And then right here I'm just going to be showing you guys what shampoo and conditioner I'm using. And yeah, so I'm just testing out the water to see how hot it is. I like to first start off by rinsing my hair with really, really hot water to really deep cleanse my hair. And I'm just kind of going through getting each section wet to make sure that everything is nice and drenched with water before I get into actually shampooing my hair. And yeah, I probably hadn't washed my hair in a couple weeks, so it was kind of looking kind of crazy and on the nappy side, if you guys can see. But yeah, I'm just kind of running the water through my hair and kind of putting my fingers on my roots and kind of scratching my head a little bit just to really get that water in there. I like to do that first and then I'm just wringing out my hair right here. Then I'm going to go in with the shampoo and I showed it before but it's the Aussie Miracle Curls shampoo and I'm just going to be starting off in the back of my hair and kind of working that through my hair. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead to the front of my hair, just kind of patting it on, rubbing it through like so. And then I'm kind of scrunching it through the ends of my hair. Then I'm just shampooing and rubbing as you guys can see. Then I'm going to start kind of still doing the same similar motion in a little bit I'll start kind of really cleansing it like scrap digging my nails in my scalp and kind of going in with the kind of scratching motion just to really get into my roots and right here I'm just adding a little bit more shampoo because my hair is like really really thick so my hair needs a lot of shampoo and a lot of conditioner to really get every single strand of my hair clean so right here I'm just kind of cleansing the front and the back and kind of just scrunching my fingers through. That's how I like to shampoo my hair just to really get the roots clean like so. And I like to get my hair really really sudsy because I feel like if it's not sudsy it's not really clean. You know. But yeah. So I'm just still scrunching and kind of scratching through. I mostly do the same like patting upward method and then a little bit of the scrunch to really cleanse my hair really well. And I'm just making sure I'm getting the ends good too. Then I'm just rinsing off my hands to get rid of all that shampoo. Then I turn the water on a different setting and I'm just gonna be rinsing out all that shampoo out of my hair. And with this, I'm still using hot water. For my shampooing, I usually just use hot water, but then when I go into condition, when you guys are going to see when I'm rinsing out the conditioner, I like to use colder water. But yeah, so then I'm just kind of wringing out my hair, kind of making sure I'm getting all the soap out, and just making sure that water is getting in there and getting all those soaps and suds out. So then I'm just going to wring out my hair right here. Just make sure it's not dripping everywhere when I go to get my towel. And I'm just using a regular beach towel for this part just to dry off my hair. And then right here I'm just taking off my towel, drying off my hair a little bit to prepare for the conditioner that I'm about to put in it. So then I'm going to go in with a big glob of conditioner and I'm just going to start putting that in my hair. I usually like to start in the front and I'm just kind of rubbing it through my hair. I guess I, I don't really know what this technique is called, but I'm just kind of rubbing it through my hair. I'm not really running my fingers through it just yet, but I'm just kind of smoothing it out in my hair and kind of 
going through it like that and for this part you're gonna use a lot a lot of conditioner because you need to get your hair drenched with conditioner if you want it to be really really moisturized because y'all can see how dry my hair is right now but after this is over my hair is gonna feel so good and it's gonna be so moisturized but yeah most of the time if I'm just doing a regular wash I'll just use regular conditioner but on probably like once a month I'll do a real deep condition treatment and I'll actually use a deep conditioner product not just regular conditioner but yeah so I'm just going to be doing that pretty much throughout my hair just adding a little bit more and then going back in and rubbing that through my hair. As you can see, I have to use like a lot of conditioner because my hair, like my hair isn't that long, but when I actually go in and start putting products in it, you realize how thick my hair is because one little clump is not going to do anything to my hair. Like it's just not even going to put a dent in it. And I know a lot of girls struggle with this. Like you have to use like five tons of conditioner to get through your hair. That's why you always want to buy a conditioner in bulk if you can, because you just got to. But this type of conditioner that I'm using, that was the biggest size that they had, so I just had to get that one. But I really do like this um, shampoo and conditioner. It really makes my hair really, really moist and moisturized. So yeah, so now I'm just kind of splitting through my hair. Kind of making sure that every piece of my hair has a um, little bit of conditioner on it just to make sure everything is nice and saturated because I don't want any of the pieces of my hair to not really be saturated because the whole point of this is to really get everything nice and moisturized. But yeah, so right here I'm just kind of running my fingers through my hair kind of detangling it all in one step while I'm putting the conditioner in to make sure that it's really getting into my hair and right here I'm just going in through the other side and I'm just gonna be raking through kind of detangling all in the same motion but I'm also getting that conditioner really into my hair and making my hair saturated with the conditioner. Then I'm just going to head to the back of my hair. The back of my hair tends to be the most dry, so I'm making sure I don't forget to get back there. And yeah, so I'm just putting some more back there. Making sure I get those ends and those roots. Because those are really the spots that you want to hit. So yeah, I'm going to leave this in my hair for about 15 to 20 minutes um, just so that way it can really set into my hair and really moisturize my hair pretty good. Sometimes I'll put like a shower cap, a plastic shower cap over it, but today I decided not to and I just kind of just sat around and watched some TV while I was waiting for the 15 to 20 minutes to go by. Then right here I'm testing the water again so that way I can wash the conditioner out and I'm just rinsing my hair. Pretty much like this, nothing too special here. I'm just kind of taking it section by section, not doing it all in one sweep because I want to make sure that I get to the roots of my hair, not just the ends of my hair, making sure that the water is going on all throughout my hair. And I really like to use this setting on my, um, on my sink because it gets all throughout my hair better when I'm rinsing it, as you guys can see. If you have this setting on your kitchen sink, I would definitely recommend using that because it really rinses your hair a lot better than if you're just using the standard faucet setting. So right here I am using cold water for this one. I'm not using like super duper cold water but it's a little bit colder than room temperature would be because I don't want to like freeze my head to death. Yeah I'm just rinsing out my hair like this 
making sure I'm getting all the soap out of there, making sure I get to the back of my hair because the reason why I majority of the time wash my hair in the sink is because whenever I'm in the shower, for some reason I just can't seem to get all the shampoo and conditioner out of my hair. Every time I get out the shower, it's ended up still being some type of shampoo or conditioner still in my hair. So I just usually end up going back to the sink. So I just prefer to wash my hair in the sink. So right there, I'm just kind of wringing it out just to get the soaps and suds out of it. Because although I'm rinsing it, you want to kind of make sure that you're squeezing out that soap too, not just the water. So right here, I'm just wringing it out again. So you guys can see, making sure that all that soap is out of it. And right here, I'm using a micro um, fiber towel for my hair it's one of those little turban microfiber things that you probably find at Walmart or TJ Maxx I believe I got mine from TJ Maxx but I like to use this instead of the regular towel because it's a lot better for your hair and it doesn't cause as much shedding as the regular towel would cause right here I'm just kind of drying off my face and my around my edges because that's when it gets really wet and that's pretty much the end of this video um, after that, I'll usually do a twist out or a wash and go depending upon my mood, but that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.